2023 Eastern Conference Finals. You're watching Inside the NBA, brought to you by the Kia Telluride X Pro. Kia is the official automotive partner of the NBA. Uh, June 29th, 6.30 Eastern on TNT. We've got another edition of the match as the Splash Brothers take on Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey from the win, Las Vegas. Looking forward to that there, Chuckster. I was looking forward to you took my damn ad. Oh, no, now you're supposed to read all the promos? Well, I had been reading now? it. I had you, been reading you're the, you are an NHL guy. That's okay, okay. I apologize. You're, you're our Stanley Cup playoff guy. <laughs> you keep uh, talking like that, the Godfather. You got to find yourself with no, I, cement I, shoes in the ocean. I love it when, I love it when <laughs> you, the, when the Chucks are playing with the fishes. I'm thinking about Monday night in Miami going to the Florida Panthers game. Or you ought to do that. I'm, I'm thinking about doing that. You want me to make a call for you? I got a call, fool. I know people. Yep. Okay. I know, know I, I knew I know Matthew Kachuk. But you ain't Shaq. That's true. Is he any? Is he related to Walter Kachuk? Who the hell is Walter Kachuk? Walter Kachuk played for the New York Rangers back when I was a big hockey fan when the Atlanta Flames were around. I don't know that. Yeah, I know Walter that. Kachuk played with Philip Esposito? <laughs> Not on the same hey, team. This hey. is more with Brad Park and Rod Gilbert. And Dang, Joe. Ernie, that's big time. Of that's Brad big Brad. time right I only there. know a couple of hockey names. I'm oh. just throwing them out. You know yeah. Wayne Gretzky, right? Come so on. Walters is spelled different, <laughs> so they're not. But that's, uh, that's the other Kachuk that I knew. Meantime, uh, <laughs> the Lakers and the Nuggets. Uh, so how strange is it now that three of the four teams we got left um, unbeaten at home? And then you've got the Celtics uh, who are struggling at home. Meantime, the Nuggets haven't lost at home. Neither have the Lakers. That's where the series is going next with Denver on top 2 nothing after uh, some heroics by Jamal Murray in the fourth quarter last night and some entertaining postgame yakety yak. You know, I missed my first couple coming out. I were just really good looks, and, you know, the game would have been a lot easier if I made them in the first half, you know. So um, just come out focused and knock them down. Don't lose any confidence or anything like that. Just play my game and know that they're going to fall if I keep shooting them. One of the coaches said, you know, when's the last time you heard of a grown-ass man have an ear infection? <laughs> you know, usually that's kids in kindergarten or whatever, but for him to game six, game one, and game two with the illness that he's had just speaks volumes of how much of a gamer that he is. This is not the NCAA tournament. <clears throat> it's the first, first team to four wins, and uh, we have an opportunity to go home and play great basketball until the team beats you uh, four times, then you always have an opportunity to come out of it. You win game one of the playoffs, and all everybody talked about was the Lakers. Let's be honest, that was a national narrative was, hey, the Lakers are fine. They're down 1-0, but they figured something out. No one talked about Nikola just had a historic performance. The narrative wasn't about the Nuggets. The narrative wasn't about Nikola. The narrative was about the Lakers and their adjustments. So, you know, you put that in your pipe, you smoke it, and you come back, and you know what? We're going to go up 2-0. Put that so in your pipe and smoke Is it he a... talking about hookah or cannabis? Grown ass <laughs> man with an ear infection. I, just, yeah. man, he's t- yeah, he's I told okay. you that was some good yakety yak. Blueberry yak. mint. I would, also also like to, I would actually like to address that. Well, well, I, you you know, address what? Mike Malone. I know he watches Michael a little bit Malone. too much TV. Yeah. I call him when I want to call him. He came whoop my ass. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, first of all, I've been on the Nuggets bandwagon all season. I've been on the Joker all season. I have picked Nuggets to win a championship. I don't care what those other networks do. But Mike Malone is starting to get on my last damn nerve. Why? Being whiny. He ain't got to talk about the Lakers. He ain't got to worry about what these fools on the other networks are saying about the Lakers. He got the best team in the NBA. He's doing a hell of a job. That boy Joker, that man is out there. He kicking ass and taking names. And the rest of them boys, I told you, Brown, KCP, Gordon, that LeBron kid, they are Brown, they, yeah. they're going to win the championship. Uh, I've been just, giving them love all year. Well, what's he, wrong he, with sticking up for your team? He, he ain't got to stick up for his team. Yeah, he got yeah, to play. He, I, I agree. Listen. But however, Chuck, his narrative, obviously, you think about it, for his team is no one gives us respect. So he's continuing it to keep them motivated was, into hey, a way. We're seeing the same I was just thing. about yeah, to say that. That's, that's his motivation. I was just I about to say that. I don't want to see him on TV well, wine and well, That's you. Uh, but he's, well, he's talking to me. But he's talking to he's those too 12 coaches. He's, he's talking to those 12 dudes. Too good dudes, of a coach, too good of a team to be listen, worried about what fools on TV say. And listen, at this, point, at this point of the season, when you're a hell of a player and people ain't mentioning your name, that gets you going. You know that. Like, 
at the bad game, I used to I used to turn on and see what the hell y'all gonna say, especially you. Uh, what you gonna say about me? Oh, for real, he can't. Okay, watch it. Watch what I do the next day. So he's using that as motivation. Calm Stop down. It. Stop. Calm it. down. Stop it. Yeah, I, it is. It's obvious Please. that he's the cry in the Denver Nuggets locker room is right. we don't get respect nationally. I've been given so we're gonna show the world year. and we're gonna shock them. Yeah, yeah well, both they, of us picked the Nuggets. They, they, so like, not, like, they're not so think about that. Okay. Well, Dave, call me and Ken and Mike and tell us <laughs> we, we, we appreciate. We ain't on no other bandwagon. We on your bandwagon. <laughs> you're look, you're kind of a cranky as a grown ass no, no, man. No, no, you're no, cranky no, as a grown no, ass no, man. No, 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 I think you listen. I love what the Nuggets have done. I, I love it. And it's I know great. you've been behind him the whole time. Oh, and also, I'm, you got to shout out Calvin Booth. Calvin Booth has done an amazing with, uh, job. Going out Dave Brown done. and KCP. PP, oh, my God. I love what they're doing. And listen, like I say, they're going to win a championship, in my opinion. I can't wait to get to the finals because I know they got some good golf courses out there in Denver. Hey, Peyton Manning, I'm calling and you. And that ball flies. And, out Sh- there, and Sean, and Sean you Payton. You counting the Lakers out, though, like that? Hell yeah. <laughs> Guarantee it then. Guarantee. Okay. okay. I'm going to the mile high. Okay. Oh, Pay- Peyton and Sean, get the golf courses ready. Chuck coming. Put that, that ball fly out there. Put, put, that, put that in your pipe and, and smoke, smoke it. it. No can. And, check. and don't go anywhere. We're coming back with more on Inside the NBA presented by <laughs> Kia in just a second. Just four grown-ass men. That's right. Uh, and look at these two. I love that. Where you going after the show? Where you going after the game? I'm going to eat over here. You can come on and get something. I'm hungry. You going to pay the bill? No, you going to pay the bill.